You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, we're going to talk a little bit about that Sunday splash report involving the New York Jets and the Las Vegas Raiders and Devontae Adams. Because, well, Adam Schefter's not the only one in the insider business. There is one Peter King out there. He's one of the goats of all time and been around for 35 years. Nonetheless, he has come out and he said, nah, hold on now. Not so fast because the Raiders, the Vegas Raiders, are going to play hardball with the Jets for Devontae Adams. Fact is, the Raiders are very aware of two things, okay? Number one, we drafted a quarterback that we feel like might be the guy, Aiden O'Connell. Do you really want to take away his number one weapon? That's something to think about going into a second year, which I believe is the most important year. Let's say Aiden O'Connell shits the bed the rest of the year. And they're like, you know what? We want a Bo Nix. We want a Michael Penix Jr., We might want somebody for our star rookie quarterback to throw to. I mean, let's pay attention to what happened with Bryce Young and Carolina in getting rid of D.J. Moore. I mean, the fact is, they kind of don't know what Bryce Young is. He looks like crap. I know that. He looks bad. But then again, your number one receiver is Adam Thielen at 33 years old. You kind of don't know what you have. Plus, your offensive line is trash. Uh, Let's get to this. Now, this is Schefter's report, and this was from yesterday. All right, the Jets inquired about reuniting Las Vegas Raiders pro bowler wide receiver Devontae Adams with Aaron Rodgers before last month's trade deadline, only to be quickly rebuffed. But the Jets might not be willing to take no for an answer. Well, according to Peter King, they may have to. As sources around the NFL expect New York will pursue Adams against again this offseason. Quote, that will happen, one source told ESPN. Quote, I think so. Sources said they believe that whether the Raiders consider trading Adams could depend on how their season finishes. Since naming Antonio Pierce as interim head coach, the Raiders 5-5 five and five have won both of their games and garnered recognition and respect from around the league, while Adams has looked and sounded extremely happy you got to be careful, too, here because, you know, what happened with Mac Jones, everybody said, including myself, Bill O'Brien's going to bring Mac Jones back this year, and he fell on their face. Well, one thing that happened was the Patriots got rid of Jacoby Myers. Jacoby Myers was Mac Jones' number one weapon. He was the number one receiver on the Patriots team, and he put up real numbers with Mac Jones last year, Okay. Real numbers and got in the end zone. So you got rid of Matt, you got rid of Jacoby Myers and got Bill O'Brien back, but you took away one of Mac Jones's really his only weapon that he had legitimate. I mean, him and Kendrick Bourne and Demario Day, uh, Douglas would look great. My point is, you don't get rid of a young quarterback's number one weapon, okay? Because even if you improve on scheme and all that. You still got to have somebody to throw the damn ball to. And Jacoby Myers is on this Raiders team, and I like him. And uh, But, you know, Devontae Adams is all world. At least you'll know what it is your quarterback really is. So, let's come over here to Yard Barker because NBC Sports NFL insider Peter King says, not so fast, my friends. Sounds skeptical the Jets will be able to bring the former Green Bay Packers teammates together before the start of the season. Obviously, looking to put Rodgers and Adams back together. Quote, If the value for Adams in the 2022 trade from Green Bay to Vegas was first and second round picks, you'd think the trade in 2024 would be less. But what exactly? My first guess, it will be a first round pick or two second round picks. King explained... In his latest football morning in America column, the Jets will argue that Adams' value shouldn't be as much because he turns 32 during the season next year and will be playing his 11th year. Adams and Rodgers played alongside each other from 2014 to 2021. 
before Green Bay traded Adams to the Raiders team willing to give him a five-year, $141.25 million contract. Of course, they were trying to hook up Derek Carr, Devontae Adams. Now, you come back down around here, Vegas is going to play hardball. Vegas will have the leverage. I think because the Raiders will know Rodgers wants Adams badly. And the Jets will be all in for 2024 and 2025. King continued, If the Jets give their first rounder next year, it'd mean no picks for the New York Jets till somewhere around 75 overall in 2024. And the Jets will have offensive line holes to fill next year. Their offensive line sucks. I mean, it's just not very good. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, look at Aaron Rodgers and what happened. Or it would be enough for the Jets to trade one of their good defensive pieces plus a third rounder for Adams. That's interesting. Okay, that's interesting. So they're saying, look, that very good Jets defense, it might have to break up. It may have to break up. You're going to have to send us a good defensive player and a third. If you really want Devontae Adams, if Aaron Rodgers is banging the drum for Devontae Adams that much, you're going to have to really give it up. I mean, that's all there is to it. And frankly, two seconds? Uh, look, second-round picks in the NFL are a lot, of, a lot of front offices, almost all front offices. They look at, at second-round picks as just about as valuable as a first-round pick. All right? But the money's even less. But usually, those guys are viewed as contributing starters, potentially. Right? Uh, so, we got to remember, I mean, the true talent in the first round is up to about 16 or 17. First 17 picks, most teams only have a true 15 to 18, boy, in a deep draft, 20 actual graded first-round players. Most of the time, it's about 15. And then after 15, the other guys, even in the first round, the back half of the first round, viewed as second-round talents. I'm not sure a lot of people know that, but that, that's a thing. That's a real thing. Uh, so that is the way they feel about that. So I find that interesting that the Las Vegas Raiders are saying, we're not just going to give away Devontae Adams. They, they think he's important. It's going to be important for Aiden O'Connell. It's going to be important for another quarterback if they end up having to draft another one. And uh, they also are very much going to play the card, and rightfully so, that old A. a. Ron really wants Devontae, his boy, with him on the New York Jets and the Raiders, if they even, and they'll entertain it. I mean, as a responsible general manager or whatever, you've got to entertain all trades, okay? Even some schmuck calling up saying, hey, we want to trade for Patrick Mahomes. You know, if a guy says, we're giving you two complete drafts, well, I don't even know if I'd do it for that. Five complete drafts, then, okay, well, maybe we're in business. I don't know, though. Probably not because he means so much from a business standpoint. But you get the point. I mean, I'm kind of I'm kind of coming off half-cocked about that, but you get the point. Even the Raiders are going to listen, right? But they know because he is so valued by the superstar of the Jets, Aaron Rodgers, I mean, the Raiders go play hardball. Kind of a little bend, bend them over the barrel kind of action. A little, little deliverance on the Jets. Is that what we're doing? A little... Little Ned Beatty action? Anybody old enough to know what the hell I'm talking about? Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. That took a turn, did it not? J.R. Ewing thinks it did. Peace them out. You'd be shocked how many people talk about that dog. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.